Hey everyone, hope you're having a great day. Today I want to talk to you about how excited I am for the Persona 3 remake and the number one things I want the most from the remake. Now, I'm not going to include things we already know are not going to happen, like the answer epilogue or the Fem C protagonist. So with that out of the way, starting off, what I'm really wanting from Persona 3 is direct control of your party members, and on the flip side, the ability to have the computer control them. So, I think this one is highly likely just because how the Persona series has been the last couple of games. But back in Persona 3 Fess, you weren't allowed to control your party members. It was something I desperately wanted back in the day. And for modern gaming sensibilities, I'm confident they will add it. But, what I think is a little less likely, but still likely, is the ability to have the computer control your party members. Okay, that may seem a strange thing to want, especially after what I just said. But, there's a certain few of you, my type of people, that are thinking, yes, exactly. And those are the people like me, who somehow thought after a few dozen hours in the game, that it added some charm not being able to control your party members. It added character to it, and a certain level of fun, difficulty, slash, strategy, when the computer was controlling your party. You see, it made your party seem even more like individuals, and not just an extension of you. I remember the times when I'd be begging for a heal from a party member, and the joy or despair I felt when they healed me or just cast charm for the seventh million time in a row. It felt tactical when you would direct a party member as a healer, attacker, or whatever else you needed them to do. Because you see, back then, you could place certain tactical commands on them. And just, like I said, healer, attacker, or whatever else you needed them to do. So, that's why I'm hoping they keep it in as an option. Next up, and still staying down in the combat section, in Tartarus, I want them to add some special type of events to certain floors of Tartarus. This would be in a similar way to Persona 5 Dungeons, but to a lesser extent. Basically, I'd like if they added a few gimmicks, such as puzzles or revamped mini-bosses that have a little more character to them than just mob enemy but bigger. Now, this is just to a couple floors of Tartarus. In the original game, it could get pretty samey climbing Tartarus, so I believe it would benefit to add a couple bonuses in the climb. Now, this doesn't have to be a ton, and I'm not really looking for every floor to have something, but a couple throughout the game would really spice it up and bring it up to modern gaming. Next up is something I haven't heard outright confirmation for, so I'm putting it on the list anyway. And that's the social links from FES. So this means the Igis and Elizabeth social links and some of the other stuff they added. Now these I think are practically confirmed, but they haven't been outright, so I'm going to put it on the list because it wouldn't feel right if I didn't. These social links seem like such obvious things for the story and give the characters such added depth. Continuing with the social links, I hope they use the new format, which does not have your social links start to go down if you ignore them for a bit. While it was a cool mechanic in the original game, I wasn't really the biggest fan of it. It just felt like another added time limit mechanic, and with how big the game is, it's something I'd be happy leaving behind. Now, my last two additions I'd like are one, I want the inclusion of the anime cutscenes. They were always extremely epic, and with the protagonist trailer awakening scene, it seems to take place with in-game graphics, so that has me a little worried. But I, I still think there's a high chance of their inclusion because they're included in Persona 5. But more importantly, I want the return of fusion spells. See, these spells in the original game were awesome when you combine two different personas to unleash something new. Or when in Persona 2 you combine an attack with your party members, it really felt like you were working as a team. Now, two caveats to the fusion spells though. I felt like in Persona 3 they were only really useful in early game, and on the other hand in Persona 2 they seemed way, way too overpowered. So if they could make a nice in-between bit for that, I think that'd be amazing. These few additions and aspects I think would really bring a lot more to the Persona 3 Remake. And I'd love to hear what you think down in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and have a great day.